<laughs> Hi, my name is Holly Dufek, and this is my daughter Amelia and my dog Olive, and we're going to read for you Casey's Bright Red Christmas. Christmas was Casey and the team's favorite time of year. Every Christmas Eve, they spent the day decorating the farm, baking cookies, and getting ready for their celebration. But one year, Christmas nearly didn't happen at all. Good morning, Tillis. Casey greeted her friend as she finished breakfast. What's the weather forecast for today? It's going to be a great Christmas Eve. Bright and sunny, Tillis answered. The team is ready to begin the Christmas fun. I almost forgot what day it was, Casey said with a sniffle. First, I need to do my chores. Then she sneezed. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? Tillis asked, looking concerned. It's nothing, just a little cold, Casey answered. Now let's get to work. I want to finish as quickly as possible, so we have lots of time to decorate. Good morning, ladies, Casey said to the cows as she walked into the barn. Are you ready for breakfast? In response, the cows began mooing. Your stall needs to be cleaned out and replaced with fresh straw, too. She sneezed and then sighed. There's always something to do. Looking around the barn, Casey noticed a box with Christmas lights poking out of it. So that's where I put that box of decorations, she said. I better take it to the shed after finishing up here. The team is probably looking for it. Once her work in the barn was finished, Casey walked to the shed. On her way, she noticed a board on the fence was broken. I'd better fix that before it gets any worse, she said to herself. Grabbing her tools, she set to work. Just beyond the fence, Casey noticed the trees were glittery with snow. I still need to cut down the Christmas tree too, she reminded herself. After Casey fixed the fence, she began working in the shed. I'm ready to plow snow, Frankie zoomed up to her. Where should I begin? You can start in the farmyard, Casey replied. Then she sneezed. Are you feeling okay? Frankie asked. I'm fine. It's just a little cold, Casey sniffled. On the work table, Casey noticed the team's Christmas stockings laying in a heap. She had taken them out last week, but never had a chance to hang them. I've got to get those hung before tonight, she said to herself. There's so much to... I do! Do? That's a big sneeze. Thinking about her chores, Casey listed the jobs she needed to finish. I still need to change Big Red's filter, order seed for spring planting, and organize the tools. She turned to see Frankie plow nearby. I hope there's enough time to get ready for Christmas too, she said quietly, thinking about all of the things she'd rather be doing with her team. Inside her kitchen, Casey warmed up some soup for lunch. You've been working so hard lately, Tillis said when he saw his tired friend. Now that your chores are finished, why don't you take a nap? I want to spend the rest of the day with the team. It's our tradition to decorate Happy Skies Farm together. But even as she said this, Casey yawned and her eyes drew. Mm -hmm. I'll join you and the team outside in just a minute. Instead, Casey fell fast asleep at the table. Inside the shed, Tillis gathered the team. Where is Casey? Kelly asked, looking around. We can't start decorating without her. We always spend Christmas Eve with her, Fern agreed. Well, Casey isn't feeling well, Tillis explained. She fell asleep after lunch. Everyone began talking at once. The thought of spending Christmas without Casey was unthinkable. Maybe this year, Christmas should be canceled. But wait a minute, Tillis called out. Casey takes care of us throughout the year. It's time for us to take care of her. Yes, Big Red said with a smile. Let's give Casey a Christmas surprise she'll never forget. The team cheered in agreement. Then they went to work. 
Fern and Frankie began decorating the shed with lights. Uh, Frankie, I need your help, Fern called. In a second, Fern. I just need to hit Cody with these snowballs, Frankie answered. Big Red and Sammy found the perfect Christmas tree. Follow me, Sammy. My bright red nose will lead us home, Big Red said. Uh, maybe your GPS should lead us home instead, Sammy replied. Cody, Kelly, and Peter decorated the Christmas tree. The tree could use more ornaments over here, Kelly said. Everything looks better with glitter, Peter sang. Tillis, Tammy, and Evan tried their best to make Christmas cookies. Do these cookies have too much frosting on them, Tillis asked. There is more frosting on you than that cookie, Tammy answered. Meanwhile, Evan continued to place exactly one sprinkle on every cookie. Inside the shed, Bailey wrapped hay bales for the cows. Dudes, these bales are wrapped nice and tight, he exclaimed. Here come more, Frankie added. Casey woke with a start. Oh no, I can't believe I fell asleep. Outside the window, Casey saw twinkling lights. She could hear Christmas carols and laughter too. What's going on, she wondered. She quickly rushed outside to find out. Surprise! Everyone shouted as Casey entered the shed. Casey looked at each member of her team as tears welled up in her eyes. Everything is beautiful, she said. Thank you for the best Christmas gift I could ever imagine. The rest of the evening, Casey, Tillis, and the team sang Christmas carols while they drank hot cocoa and ate cookies. Evan made sure each cocoa had exactly one marshmallow. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.